Okay, everybody, this is part two of episode 21, FPL Top Dogs. Um, and I've got a snowman back. Christy, hello, are you there? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, thank you for coming back on. Uh, the way the last um, episode yeah, ended, it ended rather abruptly. So um, so just to, for a bit of comeback, what I was on about with these um, messages I sent Marky is just, over the course of a season, the ups and downs are just phenomenal and you get frustrated. And you were frustrated yourself, you know, prior to, you know, the young guns coming in. And um, I just said, you just evolve. And I've got Jose Mourinho is turning me into a red. It's a joke. It really is. The football is just one. It's like plan A and get a goal up and, uh, the guys in the radio said he doesn't have John Terry's and and great defenders to be able to do that um, mm -hmm. and and sit shut up shop. So I just said like Ali Solskjaer is whispering in my ear. Vince, remember the old days when I was playing. Remember all Vince, come back, come back. And I, I have to. <laughs> it's just an evolution of being a football fan, Christy. A bunch like this, I still wouldn't be surprised if he finished out of them. Mm, well, Jose is look doing okay. We're in all the cups, I suppose. Um, but I'm not excited about football. I don't enjoy watching Spurs anymore. Uh, so I'm a season ticket holder there, and I, I'm not looking forward to actually going ever going back. Um, I'm really into F like I'm you know I'm really football. <laughs> Go on. The football without the crowd is a big thing. Do you know, it's like it really isn't the same. Do you know, without the crowds, and like you know, it's probably a good job that they're not there because of all the VAR decisions. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, like as you said, as you were saying earlier on in the season, like you know, if you're in the stadium and you you would have been like you know, it would have been driving you mad because you haven't a clue what's going on. Like, oh, defo. So in that regard. The fans not being there, it's helped VAR. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, I sent you a message there. I, I got I, I got in Ings last night. I I got in Calvert Loon, and he's gone with COVID or whatever. He got injured actually, and then uh, for a minus four, I got in Ings, and now he's got COVID. And I'm just thinking, if I do a minus eight and get Antonio in and he doesn't play, I think William will kill me. <laughs> yeah, it's totally goose there. Um, I'm going to wild card. I'm going to wild card after this week anyway, but I'm not going to pull the trigger early. Do you know, because I actually geared up for this game week and then the Villa game was gone. I got on two players and then I had to free hit. I had 10 players playing up until the Villa game went. And I thought that I thought the Spurs game was gone as well. So I played the free hit. But then Spurs had a match against Fulham that was reinstated after I pulled the trigger on the free hit. So, like, you know, the decisions that the FA are making are just kind of like, you know, are really, really annoying me at the moment. But I got a good week out of it. Yeah, very good. I'm, I'm shocked I got 50 out of that myself. It was looking really, really bad and playing the wildcard and everything. But yeah, let's get through it. It's all about this um, bench boost coming up now in game week 19. And thank God the FA have put in that Villa, is it Newcastle match in the end. Um, so I kind of got lucky there. Um, um, I don't know. You see, I don't have a great bench to, to use that yet after oh. I used the wild card right you see I, I can't I can't use it now I can't use it now like the only option I have is to use a triple captain this week but I don't overly fancy anyone or the triple captaincy so I'm just going to leave the team as it is just captain Salah do a wild card the week after maybe the week after that it's, it's going to happen in the next two weeks and then just kind of bench boost after that after they use the wild card you know <clears throat> yeah good stuff um well uh christy it's not great tonight i can't my internet is just totally finito um nothing's no. coming up um 
suppose we can just I, I want to get the fixtures up anyway um uh, for for the next game week we can talk a little bit about more about the fixtures if i can get any any information up here at all whatever fixtures will stay <laughs> I don't think anything's going to change now anyway. Hopefully not. Like, there's a few games now gone the last 10 days. There's going to be more coming. So, you know, um, it's, it's games like, you know, they show precedence there now with Spurs and Fulham by reading state in the game. So it's kind of hard to, it's kind of hard to kind of like, you know, fully focus on the fixtures. Kind of just kind of like play game by week, game week by game week now, which is kind of like against what I was kind of like as a player. But I don't know. It's kind of what you have to do, really. Now, okay. Um. So after game week nineteen, the bench boost. I think ninety nine percent of people will probably bench boost. Um. Yeah. The, the, but there's people like yourself that see. That's what you've got to do in FPL. You have to use the chip for you. Don't go with the flow. You have to analyze your team. Say, no, actually, that's what everybody's saying. That's not going to work for my team. That's why I've gone for a wild card. It's independent thought here. So mm. game week 20. Um, I wish I could get some of the... Do you know what? Um, the good news is that I've got a phone with internet. Uh, at least I can get some something up here. Um, because I'm using my own data. The thing, yeah, when you have a load of people in as well, Christy, you, you, it's it's very hard. It frustrates me being the host that I can't get everybody, you know, to get a good bit of time. The time just flies by, and it's very hard to, you know. Um, yeah, no, it's, it was good to have uh, a good bit of the good few dogs there earlier on today. Good yeah. chatter. It's great to have William back in it. Like he, he got still got enthusiasm for any. Well, like you know, like he's still in the FPL Cup. Many of us aren't. Do you know, yeah. like uh, I couldn't believe it. I did. I, I researched a lot about that. I, the the sixteen I checked. It's only six. Only three are definitely going to go through, and the other, mm. like um, Hitman's going to go through. I'm going to go through. Um, and also, William said and also Joe Neenan's going to go through. Uh, Shane is going to go out to that guy from India. Isn't that really cool? I love the FPL because you can meet. I met somebody from the Falkland Islands or some Christmas Islands or mm. Bird Islands. It's just crazy where you, you meet some people. Um, I've never done well in that cup. I think the second <laughs> round is the I ever got. Yeah, I... I, I got really close one year. I I got like within the 500. I was only like about, I think it was three game weeks. And and, and uh, it was good. Um, I kept going on Facebook every week saying, oh, I'm, I'm this, I'm top thing. And nobody giving me a like or anything. <laughs> Total joke. Like, what's the point of Facebook anyway? So um, on Saturday, Christy, um, we know all about game week 19. And... Um, you know, Everton fans are going to be gutted. If you're any Everton players, you're going to be absolutely fuming. No time to react, no nothing. But the, the next game week, game week 20, Palace, West Ham. Now, this is what William's been talking about, West Ham. Um, for me, I'm thinking about getting in Kufal uh, for West Ham instead of um, uh, Lindelof because I get two game weeks, you know, for the game week 19 bench boost. And uh, mm. I like, like West, West Ham. I got Burnley at home. And, uh, Sorry, do West, Ham, do, West, do West Ham have a double game week? No, that game week. Yeah, they have a double game week in 19 against um, Burnley at home and West Brom at home. Yeah, the two home games there. And and then the, the next game, the next game they have, everything is collapsing <laughs> on me, so it is to, to today, I have to admit. Everything is totally going banjax today, Chris. And so in game week 20, West Ham have got Crystal Palace away. Uh, that, mm. that's a 50 50 can go either way that you can you like your bets there and then they got Liverpool at home and West Ham at home are finicky aren't they they're liable to Anton especially the oh, home. yeah so I, yeah, I, I um, West Ham are definitely Williams onto something uh, with that suggestion yeah 
you're going to have to go back to Villa players soon enough as well because like they have so many oh, games yeah. in hand. They're out of the cup. They're out of the cup. They have so many games in hand. So in the wild card, I'll be sticking in two players there for sure. But where where can they play in the season? I think there's a few. If are they still in the um the cup, the FA Cup, Villa? No. no uh, oh, they got knocked Liverpool, out by the kids. Liverpool knocked them out. Yeah, so they they've got mm. free FA Cup dates. So I yeah. would I use a free hit to get Villa players in for just a couple of games? I think it's just trying to maybe take a minus four or eight. So maybe if you're lucky, try and keep I, try and keep two transfers. I, all the time. I would say, yeah. I would, I would save your free hit for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd just say it for like, I, I just keep that until things go drastically wrong. Yeah, I, well, like I, I'd save it until like you know the fifth round of the FA Cup where half the Premier League teams might. Oh yeah, play. yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, that's what the free hot hit free hit is really actually designed for. Um, mm. So. That's the way I wanted to play it. I wanted to have the free hit and the triple captain going towards the end of the season. I've always done that every year. Mm. And um, the bench boost will be played now next game week. Just depends how you're fixed, really. Um, after, so in game week 20, Newcastle and Leeds, Southampton, Arsenal. Hmm, that's uh, West Brom, Man City. See, Man City, you need some Man City players. Burnley and Villa. It's going to be hard to kind of judge where Villa will be at now. Burnley away is no joke, as we've seen United and Burnley. Mm. There's no easy game anymore. It's like all the goals have dried up over the last... Um, like, since Liverpool got the 7-0 against Palace, they've been struggling for goals. Three draws in a row. Um, yeah. All the goals have dried up, and I I think it's all because there's too many games, and the quality isn't there, and they are people aren't training properly. They're just resting and recovery, and trying to avoid COVID. Yeah, yeah, good point. Good point and, there and, now. And, and and maybe that's a reason why I'm sorry to denigrate Fulham. I think they're a great team, but the, these teams they can definitely compete now with the big boys. Look at Brighton the other day in, 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 at, at the Etihad. Unbelievable. They've done a great job yeah. there. Um, no. um, Potter's men and Parker's men at Fulham doing well. Everton and Leicester. Nobody will touch Everton now for a few game weeks, Christy, will they? Well, they can't because... Yeah, I know. You know. Leicester is going to be very tricky for game week 20 after the, the bench, bench boost 19 game week. And Spurs, Liverpool then. But uh, Spurs still have quite a... There's not, there's nothing easy. After what I saw against Fulham, it's just still causing me anger. It really is. This Jesus Christy, this Mourinho is total puke <laughs> football. It's so depressing. I believe. Like, um, look, it's, it's puke football, but like you've got, you've got Son, you've got Kane. Once, if, once they click, like you know, you win every game. Do you know? But they have to click. Do you know? Mm, well, why, why is he playing? Why is he playing three defensive uh, midfielders? Uh, Heuberg, Winks, and Sissoko in, mm. uh, against Fulham at home, and, and yeah. just throw up Son and Kane and fishing. But it's basically fishing. Because what, what, what because he can do, doing? Because he can do it. He can do it because he has Son and Kane up front. But if he's not if, doing if, it. He's not doing it. He's drawn with Palace to give away a goal. They've done the same trick again against Fulham today. Um, no, like lost what, against what Leicester saying, two 0 You know what I'm saying. What, what I'm saying, Vinny, is once Kane or Son have the ball, like you know, like they can do anything with it, like you know. And he's just okay. prote- he's... no. I th- like I think all all Mourinho's doing is fishing. He's in a in a in a pond. He throws out the line. You catch something. You don't catch something. And now it's becoming an old bloody boot every time, every match we play. Um, I That's why I'm kind of gravitating with United. I'm remembering those days with Oli Soler, Gunnar Solskjaer and, you know. Talk, talk, just, talk, talk, they, I should, know. They, shouldn't, they shouldn't take you back. They shouldn't even take you back. Oh, well, I'm going to hold <laughs> my breath until the end of the season, but. You know, it's amazing now. I haven't won a trophy for like 30 years, the FA Cup and the League Cup since 2008. And 
I, I'm not even excited with what, what Mourinho is doing, seriously. Anyway, leave, leave him. Who, who would come in anyway? Who would come in for Spurs anyway? I, ca- I can't. The, look, Mourinho left Man United. He stanked the place out, destroyed everything. And I was wondering, God, you've won a Europa and you've won a League Cup. Amazing. For like, and the Man City fans nearly vomiting in their hands saying, oh, it's terrible. And terrible football, yes. But, but he got the job done in second place. Now he's come to Spurs and he's doing the same thing. And the best thing for United was getting rid of Mourinho. Now they've got a hero uh, who gets the club and the culture. So who is the hero at Spurs that gets the club and the culture? Ledley King. That's the guy that we should be getting in next. And I hope it's at next summer. Mm. That's my shout anyway. You won't, you, you, won't, you, you won't go back to Tim Sherwood so, no? <laughs> no, but he did bring through Harry Kane. He, he, he threw him in the team. He never gets the mm. plaudits for Harry Kane. He, like, okay, AVB. Yeah, Andre Villas boss really done the background. You know, he did throw him in, but Sherwood didn't have to do it. He kept on with the kids and he did it when he went to Villa. He did give, did he, was he a Villa before Spurs or did he, I think did, did, he went after maybe, I think he spent a after, year. After. Yeah. After. So yeah, Sherwood is more, you know, like a stopgap, like a David. Sure, sure. He comes as a caretaker. Huh? Anyway, I think he would come in as a terror. Yeah, was with Villa the year they went down. Yeah, yeah, and that that was it. He never got back in the race after that. But uh, no, I think he done a good job with Tottenham. So, um, yeah, that, that's my show. Lady King is on the staff at Mourinho, so he's learning the tricks of the trade. And I think that's where we're going to have to go. But you're right, though. The fans aren't at the stadiums, Christy. This is actually. Absolute blessing in disguise for Mourinho. If we probably hang on for a couple of years, I can't see us going back in the stadiums. Not in March. Not in April. It's not. We're not going to go back, ever. Not this season. Um, I think it'll be like like it was max two thousand supporters towards the end of the year. And that'll be it. Yeah, April May tops, and then. No, oh, I'm I'm on about like you know towards the end of the year. <laughs> oh, you mean no? Well. Depends how the vaccine thing gets on, and we'll all have to have our vaccine cards and a tick under them. So we'll have to see what we're willing to do. Not going to go there. Um, mm-hmm. But like, yeah, I've I've spent about three hundred quid to Tottenham this season to pay like uh, a fourth or a fifth of uh, how much my season ticket costs, and I've got basically nothing for it. What the hell's going to happen there? I had. Oh, sorry, what like 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 three hundred quid for? Yeah, just to claim for. Just to renew my membership, they said pay pay twenty five percent of your season ticket. Um, you know, so I think it was three hundred and seventy I paid, and the only game I went to this season is the Royal Antwerp, and that was I had to pay twenty five pound for that anyway. It was a thirty thirty sorry. So I don't know what they're going to do. I'm, I'm waiting and, and find out, mate, because I'm due a refund. But they're going to hopefully next season, they're going to take that off what I owe for next season. But yeah, I, maybe. Fair enough. But um, um, yeah, you said football isn't the same without the fans. Will there ever be a point, a, a time where people will just get disinterested about this crack? They're saying this is a one once off season. It will never be. I don't know. It's two seasons in a row. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, up to March. So it's a year, really. We'll come up to over a year. Um. So that's about all we can say about that. Um. Final word about Celtic going to Dubai. That was that was a great move, Christy. Sorry, oh. I said that again. You broke up there. Sorry. Yeah. Um. Celtic going to the Dubai on their um w- their winter warming break, a total um a total disaster, and uh, one of the Celtic guys was is, has been diagnosed with COVID, and um, anyway, that's just by the by, really Celtic football. Huh? Yeah. 
Uh, so that's all that we can really... They, they might as well just cut off the season anyway. Celtic, I'm on about. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, um, I think the main thing is next season, try and win it. Win it next season. The, the 10 in a row is finished. But when you come to think of it, as people have said, Celtic are going for the 10 in a row. But you have to understand that Rangers weren't in about five or six of those titles. It's only the last four years or so that their Celtic and Rangers have been competing in the same league. I'm not so sure you can count them. I know Celtic fans will say, oh, yes, yes, oh, they are 10 But without Rangers in it? Where do you stand yeah, by that? Um, I think, sorry, just you, you broke up again there. Um, I think you're on about, like, you know, when Rangers weren't in the league. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. Like the, the 10 in a row, you know, yeah. without Rangers in it. It's, it took us. It's a hundred years time when they say Celtic won nine in a row. Are they going to say which season Rangers weren't in it, or are they just going to say Celtic won nine in a row? No, I suppose that's one for a Celtic fan, I suppose. Yeah, nine is not, doesn't sound as good as 10. So I, I suppose, um, Christy, we can leave it at that. I just tied up a few ends, and thanks very much for coming on, bro. Yeah. Night, good night to you. No worries, man. No worries. Okay, good night. Thanks, everybody, for watching. God bless.